Hi, I'm Andrew Strom, author of the new 2015 edition of Kundalini Warning, a false spirits invading the church. And the main reason we've put out this new version of the book is because of Bill Johnson and Bethel Church in Redding, California. Now there's no doubt that Bill Johnson is one of the most influential figures in the charismatic world today. But what really concerns us is what's going on behind the scenes at Bethel. This is what a bunch of drunk Bethel students look like. <laughs> All of this footage comes from within Bethel itself. Obviously, as you can see, they're into spreading this drunkenness anointing, just like the others we've looked at. For years, Bill's wife, Benny Johnson, has been the senior co-pastor of Bethel alongside her husband. And this woman is into some truly weird new agey stuff, reflexology, and much more. Benny Johnson herself put out this picture. She's lying soaking on C.S. Lewis's grave. These are students from Bethel's School of Ministry and they've been photographed around the world lying on the graves of dead Christian leaders. There's a teaching in some of these circles that you can soak up the anointing by lying on their graves. Here's Bill Johnson himself at the grave of the wife of Smith Wigglesworth the famous healing evangelist. Of course, people say that Bill Johnson is such a great teacher, such a great writer, but it's actually what's going on in the background that concerns us, the spreading of New Age practices, the spreading of a New Age type anointing, a foreign spirit. Those are the things that really worry us about Bethel. In 2012, the Bethel crowd put out this book, the physics of heaven. And the subtitle says it all. Exploring God's mysteries of sound, light, energy, vibrations, and quantum physics. Many Christian leaders, when they've read this book, say it is one of the most new age things they've ever seen. The contents are unbelievable. Just the chapter headings alone are proof enough. Vibrating in harmony with God. The God vibration. Dolphin therapy, quantum mysticism, human body frequencies. What on earth is a major ministry like Bethel doing promoting such a weird and mystical work? Of course, this deeply New Age book is still sold on the Bethel website to this day. After all, that's who it's come from. There will be more on all this, a lot more. In our upcoming YouTube video, the fourth in the main series, Kundalini Warning. Amongst other things, we'll be looking at how Bethel has spread its influence to millions and millions of young Christians around the world. My own eyes. So look out for shocking documentary number four, Kundalini Warning, coming soon on YouTube. As I was praying, the Lord showed me something different. I've never seen it before. But I see you taking the crown, and I see your hands full of oil, full of healing oil, full of healing oil, and I see these crowns on your heads, jeweled crowns, amazing crowns. But I thought I would see you placing them at the feet of Jesus. But I see you taking those crowns on your head. And I see you placing them upon children. I see you placing your crown upon children. I watched you taking your crown and placing it upon children. I said, Lord, what does it mean? What does it mean? He said, it means legacy. It means legacy, 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 that the favor of the Lord is upon you. And the favor of the Lord that's upon you is like a crown on your head, glistening crown with jewels. And you take it off 
and you place it upon a child's head. It is a powerful thing to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, instead of them thinking they can do nothing and they'll watch the big boys, they'll watch the big ones, they'll watch the famous ones, they'll watch the important ones. You take the crown off your head and you place it upon their head. And I watch the oil from your hands on the crown from your head placed upon the children. And I hear the word multiplication, 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 multiplication. A garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. And they will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. And I see a very strange vision right now where I see crowns within crowns within crowns within crowns within crowns within crowns. And as soon as you take the crown off and place it on the child, I see like a pyramid of crowns upon the child's head. And they take the largest one off and place it on another. And there's another one there. And I see this, this, um, I, I feel like there's this, it's like a mountain of provision of anointing. The more you give away, the more you will receive, says the Lord. So right now, I'm sensing, I'm sensing really strongly. Uh, <laughs> it's going to sound a little odd, but too late. Uh, I want you just to t take in the spirit realm that crown that's on your head and just place it upon someone else they're gonna just get wrecked all over the room you just gonna, okay don't don't do it don't do it like it doesn't matter do it in the most impartation most impartation that you've ever believed for right now you're gonna impart to each other so you're gonna take it you're going to put it on somebody else's head, a watch, and then say, more, Lord. Whoa! More, Lord. Everybody, place, place that anointing, that crown, that gift upon someone else's head. <laughs> Keep praying. Every single one of you, impartation, legacy, legacy. Legacy, 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 legacy. Increase your glory. More, Lord. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. More, Lord. Fire. There's fire. Place it on their heads. Find somebody. I think he's got it. Shake a baba. Fire. Place it on another one's head. Fire. Shh. Legacy. Legacy. The greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. Prophesy over them ten times. Start to prophesy ten times. More Lord. More Lord. More Lord. Ten times. I'm Andrew Strom, author of the book Kundalini Warning, Are False Spirits Invading the Church? The stuff that's been invading in the last, say, 16 to 17 years, I believe it's the worst invasion in church history. So we've got a lot to look at. And my background is I've been involved in the charismatic movement myself 
for over 25 years. I've been part of the prophetic movement. I was part of that movement for 11 years. So I saw all of this incredibly alarming and disturbing stuff coming in uh, while I was involved. Now the basic question that we're asking in this documentary is why are these manifestations so similar to Eastern religions and Hinduism and the Kundalini cults and yet they're not found in scripture, they're not found in the Bible, they're not found in classical Christianity at all. <laughs> Of course, in Hinduism, one of the most common ways of experiencing a kundalini awakening is through a guru placing his hand upon your forehead. This is called Shaktipat. And when they do that, you'll be infused with this incredible love and this wave of emotion. You'll fall down. There'll be all these manifestations, maybe animal noises, uh, joy and weeping and shaking. This is a kundalini awakening and amazingly, it is exactly the same as what we have been seeing. Isn't it incredible that starting around 1994, this stuff could invade the entire charismatic church movement almost worldwide on a vast scale, and yet it's absolutely identical, seemingly, to Kundalini Hinduism. Now one of the very clearest signs of a Kundalini awakening has always been these Kriyas. You see this woman involved in the New Age movement, she's walking along exhibiting these Kriyas happening, involuntary uh, jerking motions. And the staggering thing about it is that we are seeing again and again and again these exact same type of Kriyas. This has always been one of the clearest signs of Kundalini that we know of. A friend of mine from South Africa who's done a tremendous amount of research on this topic says that Kundalini is like a false Holy Spirit. It produces even miracles and healings and fusions of love and power and energy and emotion and uh, all these kinds of things and yet it's the Hindu version of the Holy Spirit and it's not holy. Now tell me, how could this happen? How could this stuff invade the whole charismatic movement on such a scale? How could these leaders, these big leaders, support it? And how on earth are we supposed to turn around such an invasion? Mm -hmm.